In this video, we will be going over how to catch El Matador, the giant mirror carp. And if this video helps you catch El Matador or you enjoy it, please remember to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As you can see, El Matador is a big boy. Look at that belly. Almost 90 pounds. Going to be a fun fight for sure. Let's take a look at his traits. He is a bottom lurker, so you are going to want to use a feeder rod bottom rig in most cases. Hard fighter. Definitely expect a last stand when it gets close to the boat. You'll think you're going to get him in and off he'll go. And then this one is crucial. Superiority complex. Will bite eagerly and willingly. Knowing it will emerge victorious. What the heck does that mean? No nibble. So you have to be very diligent when you're fishing for El Matador. Because it'll just come out of the blue and scare you all of a sudden. Boom. He'll hit the hook. And you will have no time to react. So do not think when fighting El Matador you can set the controller down. Or step away from the keyboard. Whatever you're using. Uh, because you're not going to have any time to react. So let's take a look at his bait and lure preferences. All bait, no lure. All of these will work on a bottom rig, of course, and any of them will work just fine. I've caught him on all of them, but I just tend to default to the first one. Cheese, it works just fine. For the gear, this is the optimum setup. Cetro del Rey feeder rod. This comes from Spain, where El Matador is, from the local souvenir shop. You need 500 reputation. If you do not have this, at the end of this video, I will link my video on the fastest way to get this rod. It is well worth it. Helps with a lot here in Spain as well as other places. And I strongly encourage you to get it. And ideally you want the level 90 reel. You get this spinning reel at level 90. No other way to get it. Although after you've reached 90 you can buy more. With braided line, make sure you're using braided. It's thinner, can go, run longer. Any sinker will do. And 4 aught hook. I recommend the 4 aught because you will get only El Matador. El Matador is a mirror carp. Highly unlikely you're going to get a diamond common carp fishing for him. And you will of course know because it will be an instant strike. Now you can use a 3 aught and catch diamond mirror carp. It's pretty common actually to catch diamond mirror carp because El Matador is always at, as far as I know anyways, Diamond mirror carp locations and I have caught many while fishing for them. So if you want diamond mirrors, then go ahead and use a 3 aught. If you just want El Matador, use a 4 aught And cheese, first option. Now if you do not have that, what else can you use? This is the level 25 graduation feeder rod available in the standard store. Combine that with the equalizer. This comes from the Mountain Range DLC. Cost a few dollars. It's well worth it. If you don't have the Pure Champion from the Souvenir Stand, which takes quite a bit of reputation. You're going to want to combine that with 44 pound braided. Any sinker. Again, 4 aught for just El Matador. And cheese. If you don't have a good spinning reel, this is the mountain range pack I recommend that includes that equalizer reel. This one, the Rushy, also has pretty good equipment, but not quite as good as what is in this mountain range pack. There is one location where El Matador has been confirmed to be catchable on a float. I've done it. It is interesting to watch him hit that on the surface and know that that no nibble bite is coming. 
here it is you can see it here and you just fish off this little beach section and it is just north of the main outpost here for that float location the gear you're going to want to use is the level 100 power nexus combined with the level 90 reel level 55 braided a waggler bobber that moves less in the current and then three out or four out combined with cheese now if you do not have that two things one you can stick with your feeder rod because it's pretty shell that there anyways or you can go to the souvenir stand and get this deft nexus that is going to be your next best bet if you can get it combine it with the pure champion you can look here it requires the same 500 stars as the Cetro del rey and that is right here there's the Cetro, and some tokens of course and if you don't have that pure champion use that equalizer reel i just showed from the mountain range pack or whatever the best one you have the next best one would be i believe the africa reel Now that you know all about El Matador and what to use to catch him, how do you find out where he is or if he's even active this week? And of course, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can see down below here all of the legends that are active the week I am making this guide. So certainly come here. That's one great spot. Or the very first place you're likely to see them posted for the week is the official Angler Discord. And you can see here I'm in the Angler Discord and you can see my post for legends and tips from October 2nd through the 9th of 2024. And here I detail all of the fish in each legendaries in each reserve this is in the trophy gallery section and here you can see the locations and the captures and my tips and if you're not in discord i will put in the description to this video the link to join all right so you know everything you need to know you've got your gear you're at your location this happens to be where i was lucky enough to find el matador first last night and i posted it into the trophy gallery for everyone else to see he can be in a lot of different spots but this is just where he happened to be so i'm at that area i've got my bottom rig set up as you can see the cetro del rey with a level 90 reel. I just for fun have a 3 aught hook because I will go ahead and take a diamond mirror carp if there is one. So since I will, I'm gonna throw out some advantage chum. It's not gonna impact El Matador. Not gonna hurt anything. If you just want an El Matador, go with the 4 aught and you will be able to tell the difference by a nibble with the mirror carp or no nibble el matador so this is exactly where i got him last night and the odds of getting him in that same spot again are pretty small but i'm going to be very diligent and pay attention here because he could strike at any time and Keep in mind, he could be anywhere in this region if he's found here where I found it. So El Matador, probably my least favorite of the legendaries because he can be extremely difficult to find and hook. So the way I do it is 
I just quick cast around my boat and I wait about 60 seconds. Now more often than not, when I get El Matador, he will hit within a few seconds, sometimes even as the bobber hits, or the, I'm sorry, the sinker hits the bottom, boom, he'll hit. So obviously he didn't do that this time. And that's pretty typical. <laughs> I have spent hours looking for El Matador. So up to you, I prefer to find him. I don't believe he moves around all that much. Can't prove it to you, but just my experience from fishing for him many, many times that I sat there for hours and hours and he never came over and bit my cheese. So I prefer to find him rather than just sitting there. But if you want to, if you think you can be diligent, because <laughs> there's not going to be an opportunity to grab the controller, you know. You can uh, turn on a movie and uh, just leave it sit there, but I don't. I move it about every 60 seconds. And again, my experience is if he's there, he's probably going to hit it in seconds. I don't think I've ever had him hit more than 30 seconds. It's usually immediately or say 10 seconds if I wasn't quite close. Now, I think, again, this is my experience. I can't prove it that you have to be very, very close to get him to bite. He doesn't seem to be like Big Larry, where he'll just swim over and, or she, I should say, would just swim over and smell the bait from a long ways away. Seems like you pretty much have to hit El Matador in the nose. Which is very annoying. <laughs> so, so be patient. Don't expect you're likely to get them on the very first try. And again, I wait usually less than a minute between casts. The first thing I do is check all around my boat, short cast, because it seems like wherever he was caught, there's a decent chance that he'll be there when I get there. Now, what else can I do? Well, you can fast travel because I'm pretty darn sure if you hop over here and then back to your boat, I'll just show you what I mean, fast travel, and then you can fast travel back to your boat. Pretty darn sure that resets his spawn location and there's another chance that he'll be right at your boat. You can also exit out and restart. That one, I'm real sure, absolutely positive, will reset his spawn location. Uh, he is not hit. So, I'll do one more, and I'll just leave it quick. But I check short cast. You can move your boat around too, and continue to short cast around the, around the boat. Or... You can long cast. We'll give this one a few more seconds. Nothing happening there. So now I'm going to try a long cast. And you can keep your boat in the spot, do the same thing, cast all around, different areas, short, long. See if you can find him. And I'll show you one other crazy thing that goes against the tutorial that has worked for me and for friends that I suggested they try it. I call it the drag method. If you look at the bottom rig tutorial, it tells you this isn't effective. If you, and there he is. <laughs> Just like that, as I'm saying, I was going to show you. You can um, get that drag up. I had it a little too low. You can drag it 10 feet or so, maybe 20, and then stop and wait the 60 seconds and then keep doing it. I've actually done it to the point where I got a diamond mirror carp right out the, at the boat on my last drag. So I got pretty lucky there uh, just throwing it out. 
randomly and he happened to be in that spot or at least close enough that he picked up the bait and you saw it was pretty quick after I casted it that he hit that with no nibble it was gonna be a pretty tough fight but on this gear not so bad I don't bother to try and muscle him in especially not on the red but if you're in a hurry you can I find El Matador to be pretty dang tough to hook so I like to be patient and it's not going to take all that long on this gear he should last stand he's not going to be close to done yet but you saw the process check around the boat then check long and hope like heck you get that lucky that's two nights in a row for me being extremely lucky on El Matador who is usually not much fun for me so long cast intermediate cast if you want drag it say 20 feet wait a minute drag it 20 feet that has worked for me just fine for him as well the trick is you need to find where he's at and he was in a completely different spot this time than he was for me last night on my Xbox character Definitely not going to be this easy of a fight on lighter gear, but not too bad on this gear. Ah, here comes the last stand, although he last standed at me, <laughs> which is interesting. You can see him coming in now. He's still fighting towards the boat. Very strange. Ah, now he's kind of going away, I guess. Give him a little more drag. And he's just not quite ready yet. He's doing his tough to catch thing. Just use that drag, wait him out. He will get tired here pretty quick. Any day now. doesn't want to come in here we go finally Let's see if we can get him nope second try nope here we go this one should do it nope still no one more try nope how about five can we do it yes there he is that was one big boy legendary el matador and as you can see first time on my pc character he has been in hiding for quite some time. Well, that's really all there is to it. Good luck catching El Matador. If this video helps you, please remember to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Happy fishing. Have a good one.